We're going to breakfast. We slept on Tater in this yard last night. It was actually funny because I feel like Danny and Abe slept better than We're they stopping. normally do. Day two of our solar build, we have Danielle and Abraham hanging out at her bros for a couple hours while he naps and we get drilling into our bedroom. So the so overall, the solar install's gone. Hey, no. I'm John, and this is Danny, and this is our home, Taterboat. We've been living on the RV for about a year now, and have recently acquired some very precious cargo. <coughs> Meet Abraham. So subscribe and follow along to watch it all go down as we move around from town to town. So the next thing we have to do after we drill our pilot holes is we want to put a little bit of this lap sealant. Uh, this is by Dicor. It's a roof expertise welding or whatever. So just a little tiny dollop inside the pilot hole before you drill the self-tapping screws. No. Hey babe, I need, uh, I need rags. I just put uh, the lap sealant on the solar panel a little bit. This has been sitting in the sun all day. You guys, don't let your die core sit in the sun or else it's gonna come out like it just did. I screwed in the screws halfway and now I'm gonna hit the remaining exposed part of those screws with some more die core. Next step for the solar array is now to just use the rest of our die core and lap it on top of the remaining bolts and just around the Z brackets and flanges. You guys just see that? I just stepped in my die core job. <sighs> it's not too bad. Got some die core on the hatch. One can show one here. So this is the second one here. So Johnny did his work today. He flipped some batteries around and changed a few things. But here we have all of our parallel series connections in place. Tomorrow we're gonna drill a hole through the roof and send some wires down. And then once we've corrected our charge controller, we're gonna send the rest of the wires across Tater on the other side and hook into the inverter. So that starts tomorrow morning whenever they're ready. Tater's on a bit of a lean. And Abraham's having quite the time adjusting to learning how to walk on such a slant. Look, it's not that bad of a lean, all right? It's just a couple degrees. 
You're being dramatic for the YouTube. He's trying to act like we're on more of a lean than we are for the for the subscribers. Going to breakfast. We slept on Tater in this yard last night. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me over the Sesame Street, but Abe's a little out of his routine the past couple days with all this hopping around, and it's the least we could do for him at this point. It's been go go go. Go 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 lately. Let's, use Let's get this advertisement out of here, right? <laughs> Skip that. It's time to get up and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. That one. I appreciate you. Hey. Bad news for you, Danielle. Unfortunately, where we're drilling a hole through our roof and down is in the very last bit of closet space that you've been allowed. Sorry. Here's the cabinet space that we're gonna drill in from the roof, running down into the battery bank. There lie all of Danielle's clothes. Yikes. All right, let's see where we went through with the hole. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> what I want to do is go right to the bottom of that hole anyway. Right. Yesterday, I uh, got my first uh, drone attack. I was trying to land the drone uh, on the roof, and it wanted to land on halfway on the AC unit, and I was worried it was going to you know, because sometimes when it lands on even, it takes off again. There's a tree right there. So I just tried to like, you know, have it land on my hand. I lift it up and it didn't want to stop. And it was about to run out of battery. So I was like, all right, I'll just hold it for a minute till it's totally out of battery. And then it goes in like battery conserve mode. So it's another minute. Anyway, it ends up clipping my pinky and like blood starts to go around. It's just like <laughs> holding this thing on the roof and it's getting all over the white roof. It was kind of intense. Anyway, just wanted to share that with everybody. I up to this point thought the drone was more of a toy. Apparently, it is more of a weapon. This is where we're at with things inside the bedroom, running the wire for the panels through the closet. So, we got our hose running down. Another hole through here. I got it coming out this way. Hold this way right here. And then there she is right there running down to the battery bank. Oh my god, dude, freaking butter. Night two in Johnny's yard. We didn't quite get to finishing today, obviously, because we're spending another night here. Um, no big deal. He's got a 50 amp hookup. He's got water. Like, we can't complain. We are out of propane, because we didn't fill up since springtime when we were boondocking on our way up to Maine in all those cracker barrels. So we can't cook. And we smashed our microwave to pieces driving a couple days ago because it's a new microwave. We blew out our old one earlier this summer and we forgot to secure it. So a couple days ago, first left turn, that thing was on the ground, ripped out of the outlet. Johnny's been on the spot. Obviously a, with an RV, there's a bunch more 
complicated electrical equipment and cramped spots and you got to worry about a motor and exhaust pipes you know in a house you don't have to worry about all that so first rv solar install for johnny possibly last hopefully not days here in the yard endless trips to Pasco Home Depot but we're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel in fact I think we're through here we have an emergency set off switch and a fuse here for the inverter which is ran down here and through to the other side which I'll take you to next things bought and tried not work it's a it's a it's a total improvisation game and you know this guy he's a master electrician so don't beat yourself up if you're having any trouble the box on the right controls our generator and our 50 amp outlet. Uh, this panel right here is where we switch over from our 50 amp generator to our solar energy. And our solar energy is produced, of course, right here by our inverter. So there you see the, black, the blue plastic tubing running from there. Producing power from the inverter. Yeah? We're harvesting our own energy? Well, we're producing power right now. Okay. So that means the inverter's receiving energy from the battery bank. Yeah, that's right. So we've been here for two nights. Three days. Hopefully we'll be leaving today and heading to Grandma's. Where we'll be for a couple more days to build our shelf better, clean Tater up, figure out his new car seat situation with the seat belts. Which is going to get right here in the couch. Yep, so we're excited about him like being up here and seeing the views with us as we drive this time. Yeah. Starting to feel a little bit of butterflies about like actually going on like a trip for fun. I have anxiety. This is like I compared to um, going on a field trip when I was like in middle school and I couldn't sleep the night before. We're out of propane because we, we didn't fill up our propane since the springtime when we went to Maine when we were running on our generator a lot at Cracker Barrel Boondocking. So we're out of propane now and we smashed our microwave a couple days ago because we got a new one we forgot to secure it down before we drove so we flung out of the wall on our first turn yeah and the prong one of the prongs stuck in the wall mm -hmm. but i think it's a blessing in disguise because we i want a conventional oven a conventional convection. i said it convection i want a convection oven again because i do miss bacon a little bit yeah yeah so, that's the way to go you know we're talking mod sticks cupcakes all the bad chicken. stuff for you dude yeah microwave just doesn't cut it we need a, a all right, we're finally leaving Johnny's. We slept here for two nights, and that was long enough. We had a good time though. Johnny and his crew are, are good people. They're very hospitable. Um, you can just tell when you're around good people, you know? So, we got our panels on. We're on solar right now. Wait for Danielle to move the Jeep out of my way so I can get, get moving forward here. <laughs> Next step is we're going to grandma's. Done with the solar install, to grandmother's house we go. We'll be in grandma's parking lot for just a few days. After that, we finally depart for some much needed adventure on the road. And the road to adventure has always led west. First stop, leaf season in the Smokies. Mm -hmm. 